You must tell me which brand I should use <laughs> Tell me which is your brand. I have no brand <laughs> I just use one of the legal brands in the country, yes. that's all. So you have something against that brand, I don't know, what's your problem? I used a vehicle which will not give me trouble on the way. I used a vehicle which will take the beating because… because you don't know what it means. Most of these people have never driven on Indian roads during the nights and days non-stop. I have done that many times, so I know what is the conditions. And uh, if you don't have a vehicle of the right kind, you won't complete the journey. So I made sure there is a vehicle which goes through the journey and it did. And <laughs> though the roads have gotten so much better, which is something we must all acknowledge across the country, roads are really better than what it used to be because I've driven and ri initially I... ridden across <laughs> uh, India and many times I've driven across the country. But for the first time I'm seeing the major roads in the country are as good as anywhere in the world, which is really, really nice. Only thing is, there is that one odd driver who's coming from the opposite direction. <laughs> Suddenly in the middle of the street is a cow sitting and we even saw an elephant somewhere, uh, all these things. It is not… it is not such a rare thing in India that you may hit something, either a cow or a median, because there are many unmarked medians. You know, when you're driving in the night, through the night we are driving, and I'm the only driver without a replacement driver. Every kilometer I drove, all the other drivers had two About or three. Seven thousand kilometers. Nine thousand three hundred. Yeah, from Coimbatore to Kanyakumari. Yes, <laughs> from Coimbatore to Kanyakumari to here, it's when I came to India Gate, the meter clock nine thousand three hundred point one, exactly. Drove all the way. All the way, every kilometer. So when you're driving through the night, they don't know what it means. They don't know what they're talking about. This is not skepticism, I love skepticism, I'm a super skeptic about everything. It's good to be skeptical. Skepticism is fine, but suspicion is sickness. You suspect everything, every motive in the world you suspect, then that is a sickness. So please, uh, sickness must be treated <laughs> See, the vehicle that I drive or anybody drives on the road, they are legal vehicles. There are people driving vehicles which are far bigger than what I drove far more powerful, far more whatever. But this is a Euro 5 engine, it is the best, you know, emission control it has in the world. Right now the highest emission standards is Euro 5. So this has a Euro 5 engine, it's the best engine. Above all that, all that is fine, but it's a legal vehicle. So somewhere some people think their opinion is bigger than the law in the land. This means they want to breed lynch mobs. If they had the power, they would like to throw stones at the rally, that's all they would like to do. So lynch mobs are being bred by people. The moment you say, my opinion is higher than the law, if you have a few emotional people around you who, will, who are capable of doing things on the street, there is going to be a lynch mob, isn't it? So these people should know what they're talking about.